please tell me that recorded. I really so, hope the wind isn't like messing with the sound. Yeah, I mean I can put captions, so it's fine. But yeah. Hi guys. Um, guess who's here? Hi. Can you introduce yourself. I'm Jessica. I am Brittany's best friend, and we went to middle school together <laughs> where we first met. Wait, what's sixth grade? And it's been history since. Yep. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Brittany. I'm currently a clinical year PA student. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So today we are in Central Park and we got coffee from this place called Frame. And this is like a... No I think it's like Vietnamese, Vietnamese. Vietnamese yeah. type coffee. It has like condensed milk and yeah. espresso. It's honestly really good. So if you ever come to the Upper East Side, you should definitely try this. And then we went to the Little Beat to get food. And now we're gonna eat while we answer some questions. Because if you don't remember, um, Jessica and I actually filmed a college admissions video. And yeah. way back when, yeah. like four years ago. Yeah. If you guys haven't watched that, I mean like, I don't know why you would watch it now, but. No, um, they could be applying to college. That's true, that's true. Um, if you wanna watch that, I'll link it in like the corner. Let's started with the questions so some background on jessica she was a pre-med student in undergrad and is now applying to med schools and i wanted to ask her some questions about the application process in hopes that it might help some of you also enjoy the free concert happening in the background of the video the first question is well if you guys watched the other video you would know that jessica went to johns hopkins for undergrad what did you study in undergrad so, as a typical pre-med student, I studied bio, but more specifically, like, like my major was molecular and cellular biology, and then I also minored in environmental studies. That was an interesting time. And was that something that you chose prior to starting college, or did you, like, go in under, like, undecided and then figured out what you wanted to major? Yeah, I, so I went in undecided. I didn't know and I didn't like going in I didn't want to major in biology because I was like that's so basic mm -hmm. there was like a bio major and then there was like a mole cell bio major so I opted for that one instead I decided like after after my freshman year which is like when tip people typically like will decide mm -hmm. and since you're a pre-med student do you think it helped that you majored in something that had to do with science I think it like it makes your life a little bit easier, but like you definitely don't have to. Like, it's like very possible to like major in like a humanities major, but like you just have to make sure you have like all the pre-med requirement classes done, like biochem, orgo, all of those classes. Which like if you're doing humanities major and you want to fulfill all those credits, um, it will just be a little bit tougher to fulfill your like, humanities credits as well as like your pre-med credits. So like I feel like doing bio like they overlap a lot, so it's like easier, but like not necessary how many med schools did you apply to or are you applying to right now <laughs> okay so i'm applying right now and i'm applying to 30 which i feel like i should have done more loki because i was scared dang honestly in my opinion i feel like 30 is kind of average but our pre-prof office said somewhere that you shouldn't be applying to more than 25 you but shouldn't or should? should not okay but I feel like most people I talk to apply to 30 or more. It's like you don't know where you're gonna get in, so you like apply to a bunch mm -hmm. to increase your chances. Plus, on Reddit, I see people like applying to like 50, and I'm like, how are you doing that with all the secondaries? I mean, not only that, but it's very expensive. Yeah, it's a very yeah. expensive process. How early should you start the process of applying? So I think this like depends. It depends on your school too, because a lot of schools or like med schools will require like committee letters if your school does committee letters, which is basically like a packet of like all your recommendations plus the pre-health office will write you a letter of recommendation as well. And they just compile everything into a letter. So that was due like March. So I had to like start the process of like writing all my like activities. And they also asked for like kind of like a personal statement, but not really. Uh, so I guess like, I technically started in March and then obviously like after that I like didn't do anything. Primaries are due like by like mid to late June I think is when I... No! 
or you should be submitting by early June. Um, so in context, like this is during your senior year. Yeah. Okay. Because I took a gap year, or I'm taking it. Okay. Gap year. Okay. You should ideally like have your start or have your thing done by like late May because that's when the AMC like application opens. Mm -hmm. So you want to like submit as soon as possible because like the longer you wait, the longer it takes to get verified because they have to verify you before they send your apps out. So basically like you want to submit the primary app as soon as possible and that's like late May to like early June. I think it opens like late May. And then speaking of a gap year, would you recommend people take one? I think it like varies to be honest like I think it's good that I took one because like with COVID mm -hmm. I didn't get a lot of like clinical experience so that's like mainly what I wanted to tackle in my gap year but if you like have like all your things ready like you have like everything that you know makes your application strong already like I don't see a need for a gap year big part of like why I also took one is because I wasn't ready to take the MCAT by the time I should have if I didn't want to take a gap year. So like I hadn't taken like biochem yet and I didn't want to self-study the entire like biochem course. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to take biochem first and then take the MCAT so I ended up just pushing it to the next summer. So I took it summer before my senior year. Mm -hmm. But if you're not taking a gap year then you take it like summer before your junior year. Well if someone doesn't take a gap year like what could be the pros and cons of that? Well, pro is like, you get to go straight through, you don't have to like wait so long and you can, a lot of people like don't want to take like a break between studying because maybe you kind of like lose the ability to yeah, like, like forget how to, yeah, forget how to study. It's also like then when you finish everything, you're like a year younger than like what you're gonna be. Mm -hmm. The next question is what extracurricular activities did you do to strengthen your portfolio basically yeah so i think the core ones are community service research which they say like you don't need but like you kind of need mm -hmm. clinical experience so i did a lot of community service in college so like i was part of like a tutoring group thing where we tutored like kids in baltimore um i was also part of like this community service fraternity so we did like a lot of community service for that and that was oh you also like need like leadership they want to see that you can be a leader so i did research for like three years of college i also had like a bunch of jobs in college so i worked at like a like a covid testing lab one summer oh i also worked as like a at the university rec center where i did like i taught like classes and stuff oh, yeah, like F it's F45? yeah i taught f45 yeah. everyone knows what that is it's like super trainer but... <laughs> yeah i did like personal training yeah. for a bit i think it's important to like you know do like these core pre-med things but also like have like show them that you have your own passions and stuff <laughs> You want to do like every pre-med thing and then on top of that like show that you are more than just like regular like, applicant yeah. yeah okay and then the last question which i feel like a lot of people um would want to ask is like how do you prepare for the mcats because a lot of my friends are taking it right now and some of them just like bought books and studied on their own like that other people bought like subscription plans where they had a schedule set for them every day like i'm gonna review this this and this i self-studied which i was really debating about initially because i'm like not the type to be good at self-studying like for the sat i took like prep classes um for like so like going into high school like we had to take like a specialized exam to get into like specialized high schools in new york and I also went to prep classes for that. So I was like going to MCAT, like it's a big deal. I definitely need prep classes. I looked up um, like tutoring, whatever, like with Kaplan and stuff. I had heard kind of good things and I felt like I needed like people to keep me accountable. So I was like, should I do prep classes? But then I ended up not doing it because like I didn't know anyone who actually was doing prep classes. I, everyone I knew was like self-studying. So I just like got books from one of my friends and then I had like the Kaplan books like one of like each, each subject and I think I ran through like the entirety of like every book probably except for Psychosoc because that 
it's just too much. How long did you study for? I studied for about 12, 13 weeks, 14 weeks maybe, 15 weeks oh. maybe. Did you study with other people or was it just like you just studied on your own? Mainly by myself. I dedicated the first month to like informational review, mm -hmm. second month practice problems, third month um, practice tests. Anki was a really big part of my studying. Guys, Anki works. Yeah, Anki <laughs> was crazy. At the end, I was like scrambling, doing like 500 cards a day. Mm -hmm. And those were all the questions that I came up with. <laughs> um, but do you have like any last minute tips for people that want to apply to medical school? Um, just like make sure it's actually what you want to do, I think. Um, because it is a very long and hard process and then start early that's like the biggest right i wish i started earlier because i'm scrambling is there someone that you can go to at school like, a, like, an, like advisor? an advisor yeah yeah like there's like there are like pre-med advisors mm -hmm. and you have to like book appointments and stuff oh. but it's like kind of hard because i'm like working full-time right now so it's like tough <laughs> to like after a full day of work like go back and like do your essays and stuff so that's like been really tough on me uh, yeah, I don't know we're just gonna keep eating and then <laughs> I think we're gonna go to a thrift store later Yay! so if I remember to vlog then I'll, I'll make sure of it yeah I'll have some <laughs> clips in here okay bye bye